good evening everyone uh, i am arpit taneja uh, as we all know uh, the financial year has ended and the audit season is on the peak uh, today i would like to highlight the glimpses of the use case of copilot which is helpful in conducting the audit procedures smoothly uh, my screen is visible to you yes so uh everyone you are well versed in performing these audit procedures uh today i will be highlighting how we can do our work in a quicker way using the ai so we will be discussing the use of ai in audit procedures of hr purchase sales uh let's quickly move to the demonstration so uh, for the ease of understanding i have kept my data line items limited uh, we can perform the same procedures on thousand of line items uh, in the case of hr uh, if I, we want to identify uh, the uh, ghost employees working in the organization for that i will ask my ai friend copilot to identify all those employees who having the same pan numbers the prompt i will give highlight same values in column and so the employees having the same pen will be highlighted by it and the same processes we can perform on the bank account number also on the employee name and the father's name having the same values so it highlighted those two cases which having the same pen which helped us in highlighting the ghost employees now i will ask my uh, ask copilot use look up and look for duplicate value in column pen otherwise mention unique so in that scenario what copilot will do it will suggest a formula to us how we can uh, mention the unique in front of those pen which does not have the uh, duplicate value and mention the unique uh, duplicate in case of duplicate values
so it's uh, all about how i am communicating with the copilot maybe this just because of that so i will say So as I changed my words and now Copilot understood what I'm asking for, it inserted the pen status here. It may have mentioned the unique for those which didn't have the duplicate value, mentioned the duplicate in front of those who are having the same pen number. Now I'm coming to the procedures we are performing for the purchase functions. So for purchase, there will be there are two test case we will be performing today and one is the checking of difference in purchase price of the same value. Highlight in column item name having same value but different rate in column rate per unit so as we will we'll get to know that if we, there is the same item and the client is procuring at a different rate so it will help us to identify uh, whether uh, are we procuring with the same amount uh, with the same amount or with the different rates For last two minutes. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, it's highlighting it coming to the next uh, procedures. With as the section forty three B is notified, we need to check that the payment made to MSME vendors has been made within the 40, fifteen or forty five days. In my example, uh, I have taken forty five days as due date. So what I will ask my AI friend identify the cases if in column. MSME value is yes and payment date in column payment date is later than the date mentioned in due date. The due date is uh, what I have done. The 45 days I have taken from the invoice date. And the payment date, what I have done, uh, I have made the few payments date right in there. So in if the payment date is make, we are making uh, is after the due date, it will highlight those areas where the payment is made after the due date. And those payments will be added back. So as you can see, mention the late payment and late payment if it is before the due date it mentioned no and if it after the due date it mentioned as yes the last procedure in the sales uh, procedure we need to perform is the completeness test here i have mentioned the invoice number from 1 to 21 
to the complete for the completeness we need to identify whether is any invoices missing from Time the up. data Time up. that's all from my yeah, side th th thank you arpit